Welcome back! We are still in the um, Watcher's Pub, also known as the Great Tree Pub or the Watcher's Sanctuary. And somebody has shown up in between the videos, some guy there, whom we don't know. But apparently he's been to the future vault in Kadesh Lisa, because he's wearing that helmet. Oops. Now he's on the... That hat is ridiculous, and I must have it. Um, yes. That's a reference to something, oh. I don't even remember what. He just leapt over me. And as we already saw um, before, the uh, Watcher's Prophecies are actually here now. But as we've also seen, the number clues that refer to the Watcher's Prophecies that were present in Path of the Shell are not present here. Which makes sense, because we can't actually get into the Path of the Shell room, so there's no um, way we're going to solve that puzzle, because we can't even get at it. So we don't need the clues on how to solve it either. Also missing are the uh, uh, pieces of the uh, uh, fireplace combination that you used at the end of Path of the Shell. So apparently, Anane and Arcana are going to have a slightly different resolution this time. I'm sorry, but you're just talking away, and this guy is clinging to us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He he's wants to come with us. Is he saying... Any oh, he is actually start talking on the chat. He said hi. I said shara to him, so... I started it. Oh, and he I'm asked, uh, are you too new to Uru? No, not exactly. <laughs> um... I'm just going to tell him that we're not new. What we are going to do, we are going to go to uh, Arcana, and he can't come with us because we're busy with the videos and stuff. <laughs> we're doing this in the reverse order from my original Let's Play, and there is a reason for that. And you'll, uh, you'll see that uh, eventually. We're going to start with, Ar with Arcana this time. Um, oh right, actually I should point out uh, the notebook. There's of course the uh, notebook here, from written by Simpson I think. Uh, yes, transcribed from voice recorder by Simpson. And he talks about the history of this place and also talks a little bit about our good friend Kadish. Who, um, of course, was the guy behind Kadish Lisa and the uh, also these two ages. Yeah, I don't know if he's expecting me to invite him or anything, but because uh, I closed the chat, so I can't see what he's saying. Hey, I told him. I sent him a private message saying we're recording and we've got to go. Oh, okay. <coughs> <laughs> I guess he seemed to. <laughs> I guess he's wondering what that's about. Um, okay, anyway. We are basically continuing the story of Guildmaster Kadish. Of course, we've already seen... Uh okay, it took a very long time before you actually took on your correct appearance. I was <laughs> thinking, what the hell was going on there? Anyway. Uh, we've already seen the end of his story uh, with his death in Kedrish's vault. Um, but during his life, besides being a very rich guildmaster, he um, also thought that he was the uh, grower, as prophesied by the Watcher. Um, and he was trying very hard to convince people of that. Anone was part of that, and Arcana, well, we don't really know if it was. There's not really any indication, um, although there is one thing that might sort of um, in a roundabout way be related, because the, the grower was set to bring light to the cavern, and we know that Arcana was used to produce pellets that fed the, uh, uh, the algae in the lake, which, of course, bring light to the cavern. Uh, we, what we do know is that um, Kadish is responsible for the machinery in this age. He's the engineer behind its design and construction, apparently. 
You might be wondering why I'm going in this direction uh, if if there's no uh, uh, fireplace clue to be found here, because there is a Relto page here which is not in Complete Chronicles, and as you might guess, it gives you these long, stocky plants or whatever they are. Very primeval looking. Yeah, they seem to be uh, the kind of dry uh, climate vegetation that's designed to store a lot of water, lo looking by how thick these stalks are. Which I guess makes uh, sense, considering how dry this place is, despite the fact that it this does appear to be a dried up riverbed. But from the looks of things, I'd say it dried up quite a long time ago. But it makes you wonder why all these things can grow on your Ralto as well. Well, you have to ask oh. Isha that. Sorry, Isha, yes. <laughs> um, uh, we're not going that way yet. Okay. <laughs> yes, I that's, am. Wh that's where the train is, I know. <laughs> uh, we're not going that way quite yet. Arcana is basically the same in Complete Chronicles as, as it is here. Um, with one difference, uh, which we'll see shortly, and the way uh, it ends is sort of different. I want to go this way though, um, because one difference is that here, at the end of the uh, broken railway track, is a sparkly. And I'm really... Gr uh, grateful for the game designers that they didn't put it down here. <laughs> because there's nothing else down there. So we'd have to uh, go down there just for the sparkly and then link back out, because there's no way back up. Ooh, it makes you quite dizzy, the way the camera suddenly s swoons up, swoops up. Makes me wonder what... Can you what fall down there? You can fall down there, it's not harmful, you just have to link out, because you can't get back up. Um... What I'm curious about is what else is there um, over here. Presumably another train at some point. Okay, um, let's... Can you not even get around there? No, you can't. Oh. It looks like you should be able to, but you can't. You can't jump it either. Alright, um, let's head this way real quick before we actually um, go and look at that train, which of course we know is here. Um, there's actually two uh, journey cloths here. There's one right here behind the uh, uh, pillar. Where did you go? I went to the other one. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm at this one. I want to do that one second. Um, All right. And I don't. You don't need to touch them in this case, actually. Oh, sorry. Oh, did you just touch one? Did you no. just touch one? Oh, I'm sorry. Um. Anyway, the the um the cloths actually work a little bit different. Uh, so if it already happened now, yeah, okay. Uh, I don't think it really even matters in this case who touches them. Um. As lo uh, it, it only matters which age they're touched in. What we can see is now that uh, Nora here touched uh, this cloth, something has appeared. And it reminds me of Minkata, where every time we went to Akiva, we got part of a portal. And this seems to be a similar thing. Now, I don't think it makes any difference if I touch this cloth... Uh, And this is something that did not happen in... Um, no, there's nothing happened for, uh, for this now. Uh, th this is something that didn't happen in uh, Complete Chronicles. And in fact, this particular cloth was also not here in Complete Chronicles. What was here was a drawing of the Starfisher, which, if you touched it, took you to the Barrow Cave that's attached to uh, Arcana. But that apparently is not possible here. Did another one come up? Yes. Yes. You touched the other one. 
I thought you did as well. No, I didn't yet. Oh, oh, I thought you did, and it wasn't bringing anything up. Oh. Okay, so it no, doesn't I was going to go back and touch this one and then show that the symbol grew. But anyway, we got the same effect by you touching it. It apparently oh. does not matter who touches the cloths um, um, as long as someone touches them. I guess I'm still the only one who uh, makes a difference for the um, the marker in the book. But it seems that as long as anyone touches the cloths, the portal will grow. And when it is complete, I presume it will take us somewhere. Okay, well, we should um, probably get to that train, but we'll do that in the next video.